In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the new lesson. Today we will have a lesson for second secondary grade, second semester. English subject 3A vocabulary and grammar tabular 4. This lesson is prepared by Mr. Muhammad Luhari and presented by Muhammad Latami. Today we will identify collections with get, go, have, and take. Then we will practice using vocabulary in context and distinguish between words easily confused. After that, we will revise previously taught uses of infinitive and ing forms as well as to present new ones. Warm up. What do you enjoy do you doing in your free time? In your free time, what do you enjoy doing? Do you just enjoy watching TV? Playing video games? Sit with your family? Or have a coffee? Or play football? You do any exercise? You read? What do you enjoy doing in your free time? What is the relationship between verbs get and take with the other verbs? Like we have get lost, get fired, get a job, get a life, get home, get ready, get started, get married, get divorced, get permission, get the picture, get a promotion, get the message. We don't say take lost or take friend. We say take part in something, take time, take a look, take a path, take a shower, take a break, take a chance, take a picture, take a seat. Take a taxi, take notes, take care, and take advantage of something. Now, complete the collections using the verbs in the box. Get, go, have, and take. Shopping. What is the suitable verb for shopping? Can we say get shopping, go shopping, have shopping, or take shopping? It is go shopping. A great time? Have a great time. A swim? Go for swim. Swimming? Go swimming. A stroll? Go for stroll. A meal? Get a meal. Fun? Have fun. Ready? Get ready. A photograph? Take a photograph. To sleep. Go to sleep. A tour. Take a tour. A nap. Have a nap. To a festival. Go to a festival. A holiday. Have a holiday. On holiday. Go on holiday. For a walk. Go for a walk. Now, we will have words easily confused. Complete the sentences using the correct form of the words in the boxes. Take and bring. These two words are easily confused. In this context, what should we choose in number one context? Don't forget to Take or bring your mobile phone with you when you leave. Number two, will you please take or bring me the remote control? The first one, don't forget to take. Don't forget to take your mobile phone with you when you, ha when you leave. And the second one, will you please bring me the remote control 
And with number three and four, we have a story and history. He told us an amazing story or an amazing history about what he did while he was on holiday. This town has a very old story or a very old history that makes a lot of people want to come here. So the answer, the answer of the first one is story and the second one history. Next. We have take part and take place. The award ceremony will take part or take place tomorrow. Number six, I in many school competitions when I was younger. Take part or take place. The first one is take place and the second one is take part. Wet, humid. I didn't have an umbrella with me so I got all when it rained. Eight, it is so hot and today that I feel like I'm in a sauna. So the first one, wet, and the second one, humid. Humid usually with the weather, used with the weather. Now we will move to another interesting subject which is infinitives and ing form. We will study this as a revision because we have studied this before. An infinitive is two plus base form of the verb. Form the negative by placing not before the infinitive. Here, infinitive, two plus base form of the verb. I decided to study English this year. Negative infinitive, not to, plus base form. Like, I decided not to study chemistry this year. We use infinitive after modern verbs, can, could, must, should, may, etc. Let and make in the active voice, would rather and had better. The I in G form is used one, two, three, four, five uses of I in G forms. The first one as a noun, subject or object of a verb, like exercising. This is a verb with I in G form. Exercising, we used it as a noun, is a good way of keeping fit here keeping fit after the verb go indicating physical activities after the verb go indicating physical activities like we often go fishing fishing after the verb go after certain verbs like avoid, enjoy, finish, like, love, hate, imagine, keep, risk, spend time, suggest, consider, etc. Example, Martin suggested going. Going after suggest. Here, we said after suggest, we add verb with ing form. Martin suggests going to the museum on Friday. After certain expressions, be interested in, can't stand, don't mind, how about, it's no use, it's no good, it's worth, that's no point, in, be used to, etc. Example, it's no use trying. To do everything yourself. Ask Ethan for help. And last one after prepositions for about, without, etc. I'm so excited 
about going to university next year. So about here about going. Assessment. This exercise is from workbook. Read the sentences and circle the correct answer. Number one, it's too cold for us to go or going swimming, so I guess we'll have to go some other time. Can we say to go swimming or going swimming? To go swimming, excellent. To go swimming. This is the best answer. Number two, you had better to start or start studying for the exam you're sitting on Wednesday. Can you say to start studying or start studying? The answer is you had better start studying. Get trying. Start studying for the exam you're sitting on Wednesday. Number three, I was happy to see or seeing Mark, I hadn't seen him in ages. I was happy. Beautiful work to see. I was happy to see Mark. Number four, there is no point in crying or cry over split milk. What's done is done. Can you say crying over or cry over? Crying over. There is no point in crying over. Split milk. Number five. I'm sorry, but you're not tall enough to play or playing for the school basketball team. That's excellent. To play. Number six, I really didn't know what doing to do when I saw the child crying. Doing or to do. Remarkable answer. To do. Number seven, Ahmed refused to help or helping me. Can you say to help or helping me? The answer is to help. Number eight, the teacher made me to stay or stay after school to finish my homework. The answer is stay. You have done a wonderful job here in this exercise. So this is the model answer. This is the end of our today's lesson. Today we studied how to form an infinitive and ing form. We said an infinitive is two plus base form of the verb. And the negative form of the infinitive is to place not before the infinitive. Then we mentioned three uses of ing. We also studied the collection with get and take. These are our today's references and resources. For more information and listen, you can visit our website or you can contact our Twitter account or you can call us on our free phone. Thank you for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.